G'day guys, welcome to this video tour of my 399 Stacer Proline build. Everything that you, I will show you on this boat, uh, in this video, I have either built or installed myself in my back shed. Um, when I bought the boat, it was nothing but an empty hull. So I'll try and explain things as we, as we go and uh, yeah, hopefully you like it. Now for this part of the video, I chose to just set up real quick the bimmy and the electric motor uh, just so you guys can get a, a full view of it set up before we go inside. Um, I put the prices uh, down the bottom of what I paid for these two as well. This front section is pretty standard. Um, you've got a space up the front there I'm opening now. Um, and an esky I built into the seat, only like a lunch size esky, so it fits your bait or a couple of beers. For the handles on this build, I've just got a bit of strap that I've looped on itself and screwed into the inside of the handle, try and keep as much metal out Obviously in the hot days, you don't want any stand on hinges and handles and things that'll be hot for your feet. Uh, this box here, uh, I cut in a hole, just kind of like a glove compartment, as you can see there, just storing a heap of stuff in there, but it's big enough to fit my tackle box. If I don't want to take my whole bag, and then I can just throw in a couple of different um, trays and whatnot. Just on top up here, I've got my fish finder and my puck for my encoder. In this here, I've got my battery for my fish finder and my fish finder itself. It's kind of like another little storage compartment. I also chose to hot glue some magnets on. Uh, been very handy addition. Just obviously keep knives off the floor so you're not standing on them and whatnot. Uh, the box itself is quite strong. I weigh 115 kilos and it supports me quite easy. Uh, this part is probably my favourite addition that I've done to the boat. Um, it's my rod locker. Um, and as you can see there, I use pool noodles to keep my rods in. Um, they're just silicon and pop rivet or screw. I can't remember which one I used through the um, noodle itself. Um, but they work amazing. Highly recommend a rod locker if you're ever looking to do one. Um, as you'll see here, I've installed some rod holders in the very back of the corners of the boat. All oh, very self-explanatory and easy to install. They just pop riveted in. Uh, yeah, so that's my build, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful in some way. Let me know what you think in the comments.